Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, aka Barnacles, and today I'm going to take you guys up to Epic Exposure in North Bend, Washington. It's a huge photography studio. You guys have probably have seen it in my videos in the past. And we're going to do a green screen shoot today so that I can use all of the footage in my future videos for little bloopers and gags. It's going to be fun. So I figured, oh, why not vlog it? Hell yeah! Now, I only got four and a half hours of sleep last night, so this is going to be interesting. Is Andrew Daddy's gonna go to a video shoot? Yeah. Yeah? So I decided to drive my truck today. This is my 2002 Toyota Tacoma, absolutely lowest spec with no options truck that I bought a long time ago to haul my dirt bike and I ended up just keeping it because I'm always working on the Subaru, or at least I used to be, and when I was working on it, I needed another vehicle to drive around. Uh, sometimes it's nice to drive around in something that feels like it doesn't even have 100 horsepower. So Epic Exposure is a photography studio and video studio that was started by my uh, ex-boss at Microsoft, Bruce McCallum. And uh, I worked for that guy for 15 years and he was the best manager I'd ever had at any job in my entire life. And even though we both got uh, laid off during the massive wave one that happened at uh, Microsoft a little over two years ago, uh, we both stayed in touch. We still get coffee and everything. I still very much consider him a mentor uh, moving, moving forward in my life. So we try to get coffee together and stuff like that. But he offered to let me come use his studio today because he has like a 20 foot by 20 foot green screen and a lot of professional lighting. Uh, because I had pitched an idea to him that I thought it'd be cool to shoot a bunch of video clips of me walking into frame, interacting with myself and then walking out so that I can kind of do like the whole devil, uh, devil on the shoulder thing. That could totally work. I could totally see that working. And my videos and have myself like walking out and interacting with myself in the videos. It's just something I've wanted to try for a while just for fun. So you guys will probably see that in the next generation of videos that are coming out on my channel. But uh, if nothing else, it's just an excuse to go have fun. I think we're here. So this is epic exposure. I'm sure you guys have seen it in some of my previous videos. If you're new around here, welcome. So, and that's Bruce way off over in the darkness. So he's getting the computer booted up. This is the giant green screen. What is this, a 20 by 20? So that's a 20 by 20 green screen that's all evenly lit by all these lights that are on the ceiling. So our goal for today is to shoot me doing a whole bunch of stuff in front of this green screen so that I can use that in the future videos like I was telling you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and set up some of the lighting and get the studio set up and get my laptop set up so I can do some editing here. And uh, let's get this party started. Oh, and if you guys ever need to shoot a car, Epic Exposure's got you covered. Check out this gigantic turntable here. And it's got a, a giant light. That's like a 15 foot long light, right? 15 foot long light there that you can park your car under and do some crazy pictures. This space is huge. I don't even know if this video does it justice, but you, if you could green screen off this whole thing, you could probably shoot the next Avengers movie in here. I feel super privileged that my old boss that also got canned from Microsoft would let me use this space. All right, so we're setting up a couple LED panels to light me from the front because of course we don't want to be lit by the green screen lights because their job is to light the green screen. If you guys didn't see the video I did on how to use a green screen, we actually shot that video a long time ago up here and I'll have a link in the video description showing you guys how to properly light stuff so that you don't have like weird green bands and stuff around your shoulders. Also today I'm shooting my vlog on my RX100 M3 Sony camera and then we're shooting all of the main footage for the channel on this guy which I love. This right here is my Sony FDR AX53. If you can get an AX33, it's also a badass camera, but I'll have this all linked in the video description if you guys are interested in getting the same equipment that I use down to the microphones, the memory cards, everything. It's all in the video description. And it just wouldn't be a shoot unless we brought the Reinhardt helmet that Bill Duran from uh, Punished Props made. That thing is badass. I'll, I'll link that video in the description too. There's gonna be a lot of videos down there, guys. We got Bruce back here with this LCD screen from the 70s. It's five, five feet thick and his uh, Model M IBM keyboard. Yep, that's the dinosaur that signed my checks for 15 years right there. Now, technically speaking, you guys signed my checks. It's real nice. Keep, keep those checks coming. All right, let's see how our lighting situation is here. Not bad. Not bad. Got to do a couple little tweaks. But we're almost ready to go. 
Sweet, so now I got my Puget Systems laptop hooked up to the monitoring station here on the big screen so that when we're uh, doing editing, we can get all of our focus and everything just right. It's kind of hard to do on a little screen like this, so it's nice to have the big screen here to look at everything. Now, normally when Bruce is shooting, this is connected to the DSLR so that he can see every shot that he's taking as he's taking it. It's actually really cool. Now, I do all of my video editing on Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. I absolutely love the service. Uh, sometimes the software works good, sometimes it doesn't, but all in all, it's the best video editing suite. Guys, I do something called Mixed Reality. Uh, that's the video I did right before this one. And you basically are inside of the virtual reality world using a green screen to composite you in. This is a big green screen. You can play a VR game, literally box yourself in. You can do like running and ducking and rolling. And We gotta try that, Bruce. That's gonna happen. Now you guys know from watching my videos, I sweat a lot. That's why I like shooting here because we can get the temperature down to 42 degrees in here. So now I can run around, sprint, jump, and frolic. And I won't even sweat a little bit. All right, we just took about an hour to set up all the lighting for the green screen. Whenever you're doing green screen work, you wanna make sure that you get the lighting perfect because if you don't, it's a lot of post-production. So we have some side lamps, we have a hair lamp there in the back, we have some ground lights on both sides to evenly light my face and the front of my body. And we had to tinker with it quite a bit because you gotta get that green light off the edges. So this is what we came up with so far. So this is a test with the blue mat in the background to replace the green screen. You can see all the edges are sharp. Everything looks pretty good. So we're ready to start shooting. All right, I used some gaffer tape to mark my walk-in point, my center point facing the camera over there, and my walk-out point. And what I'll do is I'll do them all continuously from one side, then do them all again from the other side. And that way I can just scan through to grab the one that I want from this one clip. And then we'll move to 13 and 14. And we'll just make them up as we go. Hell yeah! Hell yes! Damn straight! Does a bear shit in the woods? Hell yeah! Hell yes! Damn straight! Does a bear shit in the woods? Come on, it's not a bad way to spend your day. No way. Seriously, screw that, dude. Screw that. Hell no! Are you crazy? Sure seems like it. No way. No. It could happen. It could. Don't act like it wouldn't. Okay, so Bruce and I just wrapped shooting. We got well over 200 individual clips of me standing in front of the green screen with various things, various actions, emojis, uh, sayings, everything. I'm gonna have so much fun using those to edit my future videos. But we decided we wanted to do a couple of other things while I was here too, just on a whim. And one of them is to unbox and review the original iPhone. That is correct. Apple did not create the first iPhone that was an internet connected touchscreen device. It was created by Big Planet. Now we're gonna do a full unboxing and review of that bad boy. So make sure you keep an eye out on the channel for that video, it's coming soon. So how's it feel to own an original iPhone? Old school. It's old school, right? Dude. All of our objectives, we even did some extra stuff. Uh, got to review a couple of old pieces of technology, the original iPhone, that video coming soon, and an IBM PS2 luggable laptop that cost $14,000 in 1992. So now we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here and uh, go get some dinner and celebrate because today was very successful. A lot of videos in the can for you guys. Hey Bruce, we do good today? Yes, did very good. We, we, we did good. Now we're having some steaks at the Woodman and uh, what is this? This is North, this is North Bender Sammamish. Snoqualmie. Snoqualmie, okay, so we're in Snoqualmie having some steaks because we did a good job shooting today and I thought we, we, should, we should eat some cows. Well, here it is, almost 10 o'clock. I am finally back home and I had an amazing day up at Epic Exposure. I shot more video than I have in like the last year today and had a blast doing it and I think I have finally rekindled my love for video production. And I've taken quite a few steps to kind of reduce the stress level with stuff that's going on. And I'm gonna to continue to do that moving forward and try to get the right people in the right positions to help and stop listening to the hate. I found out it's easier than I thought it would be to ignore some of the hate that's been coming my way uh, because there's so much more positivity coming in now. So guys, a lot of cool stuff coming your way, a lot of new videos. I hope you guys are enjoying the, the new life that I'm breathing into the channel. And uh, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching and for supporting and for believing. So if you enjoyed this video or any other of the content that I produce, please press that like button. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, let's just keep on pushing on and having a good time and doing cool stuff. 
All right, I'm going to go inside and feed my wife the other half of that steak that I saved for her in the hopes that maybe she'll, she'll throw me some steak, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ladies. I'm going to see if she'll give up the... You know what I meant. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content that you just watched, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. It means the world to me and keeps my narcissistic tendencies intact so I can make more content like this for you.